He's the scariest man I've ever met. Just because he's angry with the local government, he came to the island with all kinds of weapons, and he killed everyone. What's even scarier is that the film turns out to be a real event that happened in Norway in 2011. To be sure, Anders has been preparing for eight years. On the day of the operation, he wore a police uniform prepared in advance. He went to the government building and after lighting the fuse in the van, Anders turned away in another car. A guard was about to go up and check on the situation, and the next second, the car exploded. With an explosion, all the surrounding buildings were damaged, and people passing by were injured and even killed. Such a serious terrorist attack soon reached the ears of the Prime Minister, who immediately ordered all police to rescue. But the Prime Minister had no idea that the Kenners had foreseen all this. Enners took advantage of the absence of police in the city and drove to a pier.